Right. There were two of such African independent churches. There were the early ones, the early African independent churches, who were actually mostly of uh, prayer bands. Uh, yeah. And then, in, and those ones came about around the 1920s and 1930s. And like I said, for those ones, for those early African uh, independent churches, or some people call them African indigenous churches, uh, Christian mm -hmm. churches, was the fact that they wanted to introduce that just Africans have always done, that healing is a combination of physiological and spiritual uh, 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 um, uh, features. In other words, when you are for in, in, in the typical African traditional setting, diseases are not just physiological. Illnesses are not just physiological. They are not caused by only physical means. There is the spiritual angle to it. So you're saying diseases are not, diseases and healings are not just physiological. They are not. There must be the spiritual component. So if somebody is sick, you just don't say he's sick because of physical situation. There is the attainment that he must have been sick because of some spiritual lassity or, or whatever, or the anger of the divinities or the anger of the ancestors, you know? And, and so when you want to find healing for that person, you must combine first and foremost, find out the cause. What is the cause? Is it because of the anger of the divinities or ancestors? When you find out that, it is only, and you have taken care of that, that you can now go to prescribe medicine for that person to be cured. If you don't take care of the spiritual aspect, no matter what medic medicine you prescribe, they will not work because you have not gotten to the source of the problem. So that was the attitude carried by Africans into Christianity. And so when the plague began, the plague, the bubonic plague, when it- The bubonic plague. plague. Yes. Now, okay. the point was that the belief of the missionaries was that this could be cured purely by medical, medical, uh, medical means. But the Africans who were, you know, who were followers felt that, no, you've got to use the spiritual means. And that created fiction. And what, was ha what happened was those people believe that you can actually pray to, into, into uh, water and use it to kill the babonic the uh, plague. And so, you know, that began to show that, look, this religion that we have taken is not actually addressing our holistic uh, worldview about issues. So that was the beginning when you now begin to see some people creating their own, what they call prayer bounds, uh, to be able to pray over water and use it as a form of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a medication, as it were. For, so which means they believe that the potency in prayer that you will use, pray into the water and somebody who is sick of the plague will drink and he will be, he will be cured. That brought some fiction. But those who are the beginning in the 1920s, 1930s, where I begin to see this, these groups called the prayer band, uh, uh, independent African churches. 